So I'm going to try this as a theater production, you know, because, uh, well, my electricity is still being hooked up in this eye. I can't, but well, I, I should explain it because uh, we're going to do is we're going to take some time here. Um, I was on a 52 day, you know, cleansing fast or whatever it is and uh, silence and, 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 and meditation. Anyway, uh, and so I'm off that now. And so uh, this is my, uh, this is my one of two days, two or three days in the in the year that I can curse. And I don't usually do it, you know, I don't want to curse, I use bad language, you know, so it's going to be a custom one. But later on, this this will, uh, the, the, I, I didn't, uh, last year I did Africa Day here in Africa. And, um, and I was, no, I, um, not because I was on the fast, not because I was on the fast, because I thought that after Africa Day was all settled. So I wasn't going to do Africa Day this, this year anyway, but I was figuring, like, if I was to give a speech, you know, what would my speech be this year, right? And so, well, I got one. <laughs> I got a subject that I want to delve into, right? Uh, because this is the one, one of the days I can curse, you know, or I can use uh, uh, um, upsetting language, upsetting to some people language, then... And then uh, I usually don't do it for some reason. Usually it's, it's like my birthday and also on uh, like New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I can I can I can uh, use um, um, an untoward language and also uh, also on, on a blue moon. See, I get, I get this, those outs, you know, on a blue moon. So uh, so those are the days I can I can uh, for my own code, my own uh, principles. I. I can curse, so this is one of those days, and I never really do it anyway. I just don't curse, you know. It's a whole, whole long story how that that came. Well, I, I, this is this. If you listen to this on YouTube, which you are, then uh, you are actually uh, at my YouTube channel, which is dedicated to when I started it. It was just to uh, get down certain uh, uh, things that I've been through, like a memoir, like a love of uh, order audio memoir, you know. And um, so that's why, you know, wasn't my, my channel's not monetized. I don't ask for no likes and shares and, and the, the smashing the buttons and the subscribe and all that stuff because it's for historical purposes only. So if you're on this channel, uh, uh, most of it is just me ranting about the stuff that's happening in my life, whatever it is. But uh, uh, but there is the, the, uh, the interview uh, stream on this channel. That's very interesting. So that's that's worth it. You know, I mean, don't don't listen to me rant. Really. So hey, wait, so so I've got to do this whole thing uh, because what's it's a whole big thing that's happened. A little change in my life. Not a little. This is it's all been amping up and it's all sort of come together. So it's gonna. This is the uh, time period to do it. No, 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 no. I'm drinking uh, coconut water. I like this jar. This is a jar. This glass is a. It's from a, a fancy yogurt in the States. Well, I guess it's like, maybe it's from Canada or something like that, but the yogurt jar. So I, I, I used to drink, drink wine in it, but I don't drink like 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 a lot of wine anymore because it's so spicy or whatever it is. But I'm gonna go, I gotta go back to back. I gotta, man, I gotta get my primitivo. I'm sorry, man, you know, gotta do some wine. But anyway, um, but that's, that's later, I'll tell you about it. This is coconut water. Hmm. I'm in Dumbaza now, at my location in Dumbaza, Del Jote Hut. Yeah, Del Jote House Hut. And this is, uh, I'm drinking coconut water, and it's, it's, it's just, it's just coconut water. It's <laughs> nothing else in it, you know, so they import it, heavy seal. I guess they could. Uh, Agua de Coco Organica, Jesu de. Something uh, maybe it's from uh, Brazil or something like that. I don't know where it's from. One hundred percent pure, made from organic young green coconuts, free from colorants and flavors, preservative free, sustainability farmed, one liter. Uh, every sip of our refreshing, one hundred percent pure organic coconut water. People, uh, you'll love, you'll love the. Yeah, you taste or oh, taste the natural flavors of the organic pouring. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I don't have my glasses. My glasses I left up in, in Alice right now in the Bible at my at my my home in Alice. This is see, this is a house. This is, this is for purposes, you know. I got to be my little my movement, <laughs> my, my my dedicated few. We work this. We work out of this office space, this house, and and I, I live here sometimes, you know. Well, because I want to, you know. 
it's another location. Plus, I, there's location in the um, uh, in, in the village. There's a lot of land that we're using some farming. We're gonna be we're doing some farming. Some some stuff. Oh, product of Vietnam. Okay, so it comes from Vietnam. Okay, here we go. So that's what I'm drinking now. I still like it. I like coconut water. I always like it. I mean, I was, when I was in India. I used to go get go, to walk. I would pull me to buy a lot of Well, the 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 the, the, the that's just dance man. That's in Brazil. Uh, and uh, they call me the walking man in India. When I was in, uh, I, I would walk from Oroville to Pondicherry. It's it's not that long. It's over. I don't know how many miles, eight, seven, whatever miles. And I would walk along the beach and, and, and go into town. And every time I got there, I'd get some coconut water. Water is closest to the sun, so I guess it's good for you. Uh, so here's what's happening. Um, I have just finished a, a how many years, <laughs> 19 years of my unsequestered monk tour. My unsequestered monk tour was uh, when I, I cut my hair and my locks. Uh, Heaven, for then, uh, that, that's, it started, based my, my official unsequestered monk tour started in 2003. And it started as a healing tour, too. That's what it really was, a healing tour. Um, and um, just like it says, it's unsequestered monk. As you know, St. Anthony was the first, uh, you know, the, the white cat, the first, oh, well, I shouldn't say the white cat, the, the, the Portuguese guy that, you know, the Italians claim him, but he's a Portuguese guy that basically brought that monk or two, the, 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 the thing of being a solitary, whatever it is, uh, to the to the Catholicism, to the, to the, to the Holy See. I guess this, this is my interpretation. You could, you could change whatever you want. And so he's like the first monk, you know. And so I'm named, I'm Anthony, so it all jives. Every, everything I'm going to tell you sort of feeds into each other. It's it's like a, like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I'll weave it on myself or something. No, I shouldn't say it like that. Um, uh, so, so anyway, uh, so, you, so, so the unsequestered monk, it's like Jesus was unsequestered monk, you know. You go around spending your message, but you know you remain pure, whatever have you. So that, that, that's that's the whole, the, the gist of it. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, so since two thousand three, I've been really on a mission of healing and uh, and observing and uh, and then trying to be tolerant, which is like very 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 difficult. You know, I left my little cushy job. You know, and, uh, um, I mean. If I did it at a younger age, then I could claim something. But I did it at an older age, which is very, more interesting, you know, because people tend to leave you alone. And now I'm into my real, my eldership, you know. So I really get interesting responses and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm perfectly suited to doing what I do, which brings me to what's happening. So uh, for a long time, I've governed my, I should say this. Oh, when I started traveling heavy like it, I started traveling heavy like 1988, well, 80, 88, 89, right around there, and I really started traveling a lot, right? And, uh, you know, when you travel back then, you, do, you, do, you would always have this thing, you know, uh, oh, what's your sign? Oh, you know, they, 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 they go, because just, a, you know, you're on the beach, you know, campfire, people are just, uh, wow, and, you know, they talk like that. But in the in the early 80s, I was hanging out with, like, you know, Lloyd Strayhorn with numbers of you, you know, and so I learned to love so 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 numbers. So I used the numbers as like a a parlor thing, a parlor trick, a parlor, a parlor game, yeah. icebreaker, whatever you want to call it. And about the same time, maybe a little bit earlier, late seventies, maybe I learned about the Rosicrucian certain things about the Rosicrucian ways of doing things, you know. And so and and I used the numbers. I used numbers in the Rosicrucian. Right, and it points out the things that because I, I learned from you know from the West African religions and you know the, the Far Eastern religions and the Mayans and the you know the American Indians. I, I got a a, a a little, you know the the Candomblé of Brazil. Just I got a lot of uh, religious sort of like information, right? I'm not I'm not a you know a scholar. I'm not going to pretend to be anything like that. I just it's just useful information, but um, but 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 I use it to uh, sort of like uh, things that happen. I don't wake up and say, "Oh, what's my number today?" and "Oh, blah blah blah." No, no, no. I'm just going along. And something happens. I say, "Oh, that sounds like blah blah blah." Okay, well, that's blah blah blah. You know, so it's like 
It just happens that way. And uh, and you know how when you're young and they would say, well, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, I suppose they asked me that question. But, you know, I realized listening to a lot of stuff because as you get older, you know, you listen, you got to the hear the stuff all the time. You know, when people pass it and they say, well, what is it? What's the... They have a bunch of questions they have, right? <clears throat> but what I realized is that I never really had this thing of like, I want to be a fireman. Or, you know, I... Yeah, you know, I guess I must have said that was a kid or something like that, but I've always just walked the walk, this Zoom, you know, and it has its consequences that's not, you know, that would, it's not for everybody, um, but it's just quite interesting. So I'm at a point right now where and because of stuff that I learned and, and because of listening to certain things, thank goodness for the internet, thank goodness for COVID for that, for that matter, you know, because that really opened, and I had to pay more attention back to I have sort of like a medical background, you know, and so I have to pay more attention to the to, to medical than, than I ever did before. But, you know, you, you have certain things that you go like, ah, I don't need that no more. You just do what you do. And so luckily I know how to read a research paper. I know medical terminology. I know that. Da, 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 da. So I follow this COVID thing. Quite, and it's quite interesting what's happening. And it's it's amazing to me just what people, it's just, it's just amazing to me. Um, so, uh, but because of this, I have to, um, um, this is my, I don't say my last, I should say, my, I shouldn't say that it's not my last guest, but all throughout my life, I've always evolved with that, like groups forming um, um, functional groups to uh, to do stuff, get stuff done. Yeah. yeah. But I guess the most famous uh, would be uh, when I was a BAI and, I, uh, and Creative Unity was my core group, you know, and then when I do my audio dramas, they were my core people. So I always had a, a group, uh, um, like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, a, a repertory co company. You know, uh, when I do audio dramas, sometimes they compare me to Orson Welles. You know, but the thing that Orson Welles people don't understand, what Orson Welles has the same thing that, in a way, in a certain sense, uh, Spike Lee almost has, but doesn't really have. But everybody would do good to, to have it. Is he had a repertory co company? In other words, they started as a theater company, and then radio theater, right? Then they took the same people. Put them into films, so he had a shorthand of working all these people and da 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 da, da. and because that you get lots, you know, you you you're free. Everybody knows, you know, you. you so oh, that's just oh, that's just just that's just Anthony having an epiphany again. You know, so just leave him alone, right? Because they they're busy doing what they, they need to do. So, so 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 it, it, it's good to have a uh, a lot of people around that that know and trust you, whatever have you. So it's difficult because the project of what I'm doing right now I have to depend on people that don't really know me, haven't worked with me. So it's like, ee, well, I don't know. Well, so I will see what's happening. But either way, I have certain things I have to do for the next the next few. And getting back to this prosecution cycle. So they, they have this thing uh, where we where you have a, a vib cycles, vibrations, you know, like uh, I experienced a lot already, but, you know, um, I have it all. I write this stuff down. Uh, uh, they have uh, like four four uh, uh, vibrations that people go through, real strong vibrations. One is they call the physical, then the mental, the sexual, and the spiritual, right? And they coincide with certain ages in your um, chronological ages in your in your life, right? I like this couple more. Um, so, 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 so from zero or minus nine months, you know, to, to, to nine years old, that's your physical, your first physical cycle. You know, because you're a little bitty baby and you grow like that. And then I'm going to go real quick. Cause, you know, I, I explained this other times, but I'll go real quick with this. And then from, from uh, basically from nine to 18, that's your mental cycle, you know, where you start thinking for your own, uh, you know, you realize there is no Santa Claus. I hope not. Uh, eighteen to twenty-seven is your sexual cycle, and that's with um, a lot of a lot of energy. But that's that's why <laughs> it's, they say this that the brain doesn't heal up to your twenty-five, you know. And so what, what what happens? This is the last. The corporations want you. The military wants you. Everybody wants to wants to grab you because you're not fully. You you look like you're fully developed, but you're not fully developed yet. You in fact you have going through all your cycles. You know this is like the third cycle. And, it's a heavy, heavy vibration cycle, and it's 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 crazy the way the society the society that we're in has organized in such a way. It's it's a crime to be 
it could be 18 to 27. Let's put it that way. I'm, I'll get it. I'm going to get into that right now. Then from 27 to 36 is your spiritual cycle, right? And then the cycle starts all over again, you know, with your, with your physical, your mental, your sexual, your, your, your spiritual. It goes again. So, 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 so the second go round, basically from 36 to um, uh, 45 is your, is your, is your physical, your second physical cycle. Then from um, 45 to 54 is your second mental, you know, cycle. Um, then when I say cycle, it, it means these are just optimum times for for uh, of energy of vibrations. You know what I mean? It's not like a, it's not like you say, oh, uh, 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 I'm I'm in my mental cycle. I I I don't do sex now. You, you know, or you, it's just it just doesn't mean that. It's just just the optimum time for these things. Um, so so fifty four to sixty three is just is your second sexual vibration cycle. And then, and then 63 to 72 is your, is your second spiritual cycle. I have just finished my second spiritual uh, cycle. Okay. And um, so now I start all over again. So basically from, 70, from 72 to 81, I'm in my physical cycle. There's never was the optimum time to pay. Is the optimum time to pay attention to physical things, you know, a mental, well, physical, whatever. Health. I, I'm, 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 I'm using health as, as an example for, for me. So that, that's where I am right now. So this is my, my third go round for the, for the, uh, for the physical. So this is interesting. Now, uh, because of the internet, whatever happened, I've come across. Uh, uh, Yaki, Yaki uh, out of uh, St. Louis. Interestingly enough, I have uh, ties to St. Louis. Uh, I'm going to have to check this brother out. Anyway, um, well, let me go back a little bit. Uh, one of the things I'm known for is normal radio. And the normal radio, in the heyday of normal radio, had a large cast. I mean, I should get my book out and show you that. But it was a lot of people in normal radio. Um, and... Um, one of the people was Doctor was Doctor Moore John E Moore, uh, he was the what they call a hobo, the hobo priest, uh, hobo priest, the hobo uh, herbologist. You know, knew all about herbs. Take you to Central Park, kill you. You know that kind of thing. So that's the first I knew about uh, exposure. But he was he you know, he's a he's a character. You know what I mean? He's a great guy. You know, in fact I have I have to check I have I have saw it. I have a because he's doing normal radio all the time, and I would record him too. So I have a some something of a recording of him. Uh, I think I'll check that out. But also, uh, um, um, I of course ran across Doctor I'm in New York. So I ran across Doctor Savi. Uh, people, how do you say? It? Do you say uh, Savi or Savi? How do you say? It? Well, he's he's Honduran. So so A A C S it's, it's S E B I, uh, A E I O U, A uh, A E O U. So, so the it's if if he's Honduran, he's Spanish. So it, which if he's sa sa sa, so it should be sabi. Yeah, sabi should be sabi. Sabi would be the English pronunciation. You see, so that's why it goes like that. Anyway, um, so I hung out with him for a while. Whatever happened. So I'm, I'm always into nutrition. I'm trying, you know, I'm, I'm always, you know, I've always been interested in, in healing and, 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 and those kind of arts. I'm um, um, currently this guy, uh, uh, Yaki, he's into urology. You know, you can look at your, you can, you can look at your eyes and tell um, what, what kind of sickness, what kind of, state, what kind of state your body is in, you know. So I learned about that in the 80s, you know. Uh, Reiki, he's into Reiki. And, People say that Jesus learned Reiki, and that's how we heal people. Well, okay, so that that's one of the things I learned. But uh, I learned Reiki was second, um, second, whatever. I, I, these things I exposed to, they don't really follow through on them. Well, a lot of things I do follow through. On. Now, so in fact, Reiki, Reiki is one of the things that heals me very well. Reiki and um, uh, uh, acupuncture, not acupuncture, what am I talking about? And uh, acupressure or, or or uh, what do you call that? Um, reflexology, reflexology. And, and Reiki, the two things that really works for And sometimes deep massage, but it's not, deep massage is not as effective as uh, as uh, reflexology. 
and uh, also even just the palm and the the, uh, the ears, you know, like you saw the feet, the, the feet, the hands, the ears are the other three areas. There's other, the, actually the genitals is another massage area, but people don't talk about that because it's sexual. Uh, okay, so, um, so this is my third go around that I'm going to do. Now, now I'm concentrating on health, pure health. Now, I know about all kinds of diets, all kinds of ways of, of, of healing, modality of healing, whatever. I've known for a long time, right? But for instance, um, uh, the berry diet, berry, very, very, the whole, they, they call these things diets, but they whatever they are. And so now I've, I've decided that when you do these lifestyle things, you got to go all the way, you know? I decided I lost some muscle mass. I don't feel my strength is the way it should be, right? Uh, my health is, is all right, you know what I mean? But I, this high blood pressure thing, all this me, you know. So, so I'm on. I have to embark on a thing where, for my third, uh, uh, for my third, uh, physical thing, coming up again, I'm going to really concentrate on uh, health, uh, uh, what I eat, um, how I roll, how I what I eat and how I roll. Let's put it that way, and so that's what this is all about. So for the next nine years. It's nine years, a nine year process. They want nine years, right? So it's nine years. I'm just going, and when you do these things, you got to put yourself all the way over on it. You can't, you, it's a lifestyle. Like when I was doing capoeira, they say, well, you know, capoeira, well, like they say, there's a lot of martial arts. It's a lifestyle. You you, you got to live it. You know, that's that's how you get the most the most benefit out of it. So, uh, so I'm going to go to this whole thing with alkaline uh, diet, uh, with a whole thing with, uh, uh, I'm going into uh, slowly right now. Right now, I'm doing uh, vegetables. A lot more vegetables now, but uh, uh, I'm going to do mostly fruit, like 80, 70, 70 percent, seventy percent fruit. Uh, uh, yeah, about thirty percent vegetables because I, I like vegetables. So, you know, it's not that whatever. It's that you know, uh, and that's going to be that's going to be it. Uh, then certain exercises that I do, trying to get my body back the way it is, uh, trying to get these this 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 eases off of me. Um, you right now I got I haven't had a, a sinus thing at all, and I think it's just from the dust from the coast with painting and whatever having that thing. And it just came today, so I don't know. Um, so so that's so. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm up to, and uh, a lot of people ask. Not a lot of people ask, but so this hut, this house that I'm in right now, the Lajote house, my, my house. It um. Uh, uh, well, I, I'll 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 do more of that on another time. We'll, we'll do, it, do a whole tour outside, and when I when it's being painted right now, it's be be a bit. I won't show you right now, but it's being painted. Certain, certain colors I have, like yellow for knowledge, uh, so that ceiling in there is yellow, you know what I mean? Then certain colors on the wall, right? And certain patterns or whatever it is, because it's, a, it's, a, it's a really a place where we, for, for for thought and speech and action, that's what, what Mr. Like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. would say, he's one of our patrons, our, our patron saints for this thing. Uh, uh, in fact, I have on what I wrote uh, down, as a, as a as a uh, that we're we're making we're how do you say that we're decorating we're painting and uh, I'm dedicating the house to certain uh, things oh here it is uh, this this is the one oh. Or do I put this in? I don't know which. I'm, I'm going to paint it on the, on the, on the front. We're going to have. Well, you won't. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. But anyway, this is going to be a um, yellow thing, and then it's going to come the, the name of the the name of the group the groupings. One of the groups in here is the the acolytes of liberation. The acolytes of liberation. D E D acolytes of liberation, and the D is not it's, the D is silence. The D E is silent. It's and that's from 
interesting for the deeds is from uh, the the Gullah Geechee language, you know, and so that's dedicated to like a real black language. So, and I, I'm gonna make it so the, the, the acolytes of liberation. You know? Anyway, but we have three people that uh, it's um I wrote it, I wrote it a better way. I wrote it a better way. Some place. Oh, here's the, here's all the religious stuff. That's right. There, my so my third eye in the Gambi. Possess a girl. Uh, meditation at the Mantra, my dear. You know, very few people do. When I say meditation, a long time, like hours. Yes. Uh, I get these kind of things. Uh, the caves, the Buddha caves, like there. The grotto, holy water, the Blue Cliff Monastery. That's Titna, huh? You know, they gotta get, get there, up there, get some stuff. So then, uh, blessed by the high priestess of Ghana. Here we go. Huh, interesting. Oh. I'm sorry, I got, I got, I got waylaid here. I'm looking for. Well, I'm gonna have to show you when it's when it's really when this is a draft of it, but the the the, the house the, the 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 house the principle of the house is is, is we have, um, or one the main the principles of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. or the principles of the code book, as expressed by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. You know the let me get it for you. Hold on a second. Don't go no place. Let me just. I'm not kicking this camera. Let me get this because we have the book here. This is the uh, in fact this Sunday, and I think I had recorded one. I hadn't talked a long time because uh, I was on the 52 day thing, so I made, I made a lot of recordings that just premiered on uh, YouTube whenever they did. Because um, I do the Sunday sermons, Mr. Neil for the doing this Sunday. I hope I did one because I because I'm not doing a Sunday sermon like that. Our Sunday sermons, and this is just because this is our our scripture book right here, uh, and it's it's it we, it's bound now. It's, it's like a soft cover. It's, it's a large soft. It's a large soft cover thing, but I bound it at Lovedale Press and Alice. You know that's the Revolutionary Press is. You see, Lovedale Press and Alice. That was a Revolutionary Press during the Beto days of apartheid. And um, the friend of the book, this is the original one. It looked it look like this, like the paper. Liberty. See that, that's the front of the book right there. And that's the name of the book right there. It's called the, the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. defines as white supremacy. So we just call it the code book. And this is where, our, this is our scripture. You know, so, you know I mean? I, yeah, I have I have the, uh, I have the, uh, over here I have my, over here my nephew, on my right hand. My right, sorry, let's see. This is his pose he did himself, like that. So you did that black power salute, like that. So I always have him, like, doing my set, like that. Anyway, on the set, I have a set here. As you see, you know, you have, we have the uh, uh, the David Hammond flag, black black American flag, whatever you want to call it. I like that one particularly. And then I got the Honduran flag, just for other things. Another time. But see, I got the I got the, the Gullah Geechee, you know. D, D New Testament. So, Uh, so 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 I, so I that's the scripture book you know you got the Holy Bible that's the scripture that's based on Holy Bible you know the the Rasas got their scripture and the people you know the 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 Muslims and the Hindus and the Mayans and the American Indians and all kinds of people they have their they have their scripture right so my scripture is Mr. Nelly Fuller Jr. and I read I read I record something every week on a Sunday and I and I put it up. My YouTube channel. I just, it started months, a few months ago, but I, I really like that. I really like it. Um, so Miss Neely Fuller Jr. is he, he is one of the uh, patron saints of of, of the Lakota here in Southern Africa, uh, uh, and we uh, we say he's the principles of the code by Miss Neely Fuller Jr. And then, um, I'll use me last uh, because I'm gonna. I don't know if I should list them like according to age. Miss Neely Fuller Jr. Fuller Jr. would be first, then I'd be second, 
And then Young Key, who's like 33 or something like 34. That's he's going to be 34 soon. So July, July 11th is his birthday. Hey, happy birthday when it's, whenever, you know, it's, it is. I think it's July 11th. Um, he's a nutrition and also spiritual is kind of interesting. I really like him. And I'm just guidance, right? So anyway, so I have Mr. Neely Foley Jr., right? Uh, then then it's going to be a guidance by the brother, Anthony J. That would be me, slow. And then we have Nutrition by Yaki yeah, Hickman, you know. And so this, 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 the, the principle of this, of this house will revolve around the code for Ms. as articulated by Ms. Neely Foley Jr. The, uh, 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 the, the code, the principles, the, well, the code, right? The, uh, the, the teachings of, on nutrition and also in some ways, not too much spiritual things, so <laughs> Excuse me. I think it's this. Yes, I got some dust issues here. So I won't be here long. A couple of weeks and I go to Cape Town. So, you know, back to the States. So there we go. Um, what did I say? So the nutrition and, and, and uh, the, the diet, how you eat, how you, blah, 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 blah his teachings, you know. So, We'll review those things too, like we review Mr. Neely for the Junior. We're going to take it. And then I'm just guidance. Guidance, and uh, I guess in a way, anyway, let me give myself a good title. Wait a second. One time when I was coming, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be blowing my nose in front of you, but that's the way it is. I don't know what's going on. Um. One time I was doing, I was doing a 24-hour conclave with, with, with audio drama. So I was walking into the space, uh, you know, because it's, it's a 24-hour deal. You know, we start at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and we go all the way to 4 o'clock the next afternoon, you know, doing audio drama all night long. We're doing various workshops like, you know, sound effects, music, um, you know, working on a script, uh, 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 costuming, you know, a bunch of things, you know, a bunch of things people think of to do. 24 hours. It's a hoot. Anyway, so I was walking in and one of the, actually, it was the, I know who it was, it was the photographer because she's, she, 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 she photographed, she photographed all of the audio dramas from the very beginning. So she was, you know, she knew me quite well. And then this was after like, and then she was in, she was a student in a class of mine. Hmm. Gloria, so <laughs> she yells out, the Oracle has arrived. Sarcastic, because you, you know, you know, I, most of the people that I get along with are super sarcastic. I mean, or that deadpan humor, or that really that you know, not that cheap, you know, your mama or what you wearing kind of thing. Yeah, no, 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 no. This, this is like really stop you, because you got a better comeback. The, the, the object is to make sure you can't come back or you say something that's so. It's kind of weird, a compliment, a left, a, a, a left field comp, compliment kind of thing. It, it, it's, called, it's called kind of complicated people that I deal with. So I like that the Oracle. I don't like the Oracle. No, anyway, so I call it the guides. The guides basically like uh, what our what farming we're going to do with it, what associations we're going to do, how we audio, mainly the audio drama shop, uh, certain things. But it's community, it's community, it's community development, really, village development. It's community development. I'm involved in community development. And I use audio drama as a means for community development. And, and through that, you could get a lot of things done. That's all I can tell you, right? Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Oh, I, I want to light my incense. Hold on a second. Got the candle here. So I'll be, I'll be, I'm going to be lighting a lot of incense in the next few months, years, I think. Uh, it's supposed to be a North African thing. Sort of in Africa. A lot of things are in Africa. Um, and, uh, and, 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 no, but the residual of the spiritual that goes, the residuals of the spiritual, the last night is the spiritual vibration goes up even stronger to the, uh, to this, uh, physical thing. You see? So, oh. Oh, that, 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 that. So I've got 
this from Oroville. You mentioned Oroville. I got this from India. It's a long time ago. I got in fact, here's one of my here's what I want to do. Next year, I got I got some stuff to do this year. Hopefully I can get the stuff done. Uh, but then next year I want to take four four or so months and uh, go to India. I'll get back to India. Stuff is happening in the world. And India is a good place to observe stuff happening. Because as, as Sadhguru has said, the thing about India, or people that attract to India, we're seekers. That's the whole thing. We seek. We seek and ye shall find sometimes. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm do, so that's, that's what I'm doing in the next nine years. Uh, this whole physical thing. Um, and it's really just it's a fruit fruit in the morning I wake up with fruit um, I I do I mean I, I guess I'm sort of like a foodie I should do maybe, anyway um, uh, you don't really drink a lot of water you know what I mean because you get your water you eat, you eat your water through your fruit you know coconut what I get you know when I'm, I'm here I can get it from well I took the last four bottles this time you know so Hopefully the, the checkers here keeps it in stock, you know. Because, you know, a lot of times, especially in South Africa, you know, things go out of stock and they don't restock it for a while, you know. It's like, I don't know, they don't really think, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Um, uh, so what am I going to say? So, so I don't drink a lot of, a lot of water on this day. Uh, veggies, I like that. And um, because you, um, how do you say it? Because, well, because you, you're doing what you're doing, you, and the kind of food you're eating, you don't, you, 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 you don't get hungry, you know? And plus I do intermittent fasting, but that's for the whole glucose, you know, uh, insulin kind of thing like that. And so I, I try to do two meals a day, and then I do my intermittent fasting, usually on a Monday, uh, usually uh, every Monday from, uh, like, my last meal would be, like, like Sunday, like, like, like now Sunday night, and then I won't eat again until, like, Tuesday morning, so, like, a 36-hour or so uh, fast is that I, well, Tuesday late. My first meal is usually about 11 o'clock in the morning. And one of the things I just found with Yaki was saying is, like, you know, eat that meal in the sun, get that sun rays you know i've been having a really great last few months man because in alice you know well where my where my where my home is this is house here now uh this this is walk i do in the morning and just the back ways to go to this other village you know oh close to this other village i'm gonna go to the village uh, called, uh Clamashe. anyway so anyway uh i go this back way and it takes like an hour and a half and i come well the whole walk takes an hour and then i come down to to Alice proper, you know, finish watching the sunrise, you know, so it was a great walk, you know, to, to uh, hour and a half, two hours, two hours walk. It was great. Uh, so I look forward when I get back end of the year, probably uh, get back to that situation. Here, I don't have a walking pattern here. There's always just something to do. We have, we have, man, when we walk around, we have, oh, we got to go to Harvard, so we got to teach, 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 walk, walk, walk. There's a lot of stuff that's got to be done with this place here. So, uh, but I want to find a place that I can walk here too. There's a long, I like the long, the long walk. Uh, when I get to uh, the States, then uh, yeah, I have some routines for that too. And hopefully, actually, when I get to Virginia, it'll be interesting because I have a long walk that I do, but I want to go, I want to go to the Y, to the Y, whatever that, you know, Y, um, to get a membership because I want to go to sauna, start using that sauna. Hey! So I remember one of the best times I had my life was I, was, I just graduated undergraduate school and uh, it's about 27. And I was, and, uh, and I, it's weird how things happen. I, I, I wrote these two, on the strength of two plays, I got into graduate school. So I was waiting to get to, to go to graduate school. It was that, that, that summer, whatever it is. So I had a paper route, you know. But what I would do, uh, and I was writing a lot. I was writing a lot of poetry, but I was writing a lot. But what I would do is, the paper route was like, it would get there 4.30 in the morning. That's my natural time anyway. Get up there, deliver the papers, da-da-da. I'm through before 9, you know, before 
I was got so good. I was getting through before, like before, before six, before seven. You know, get through the whole thing. This was in uh, East Brunswick, New Jersey, and uh, 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 and then I would come back, and uh, I, at the time I was living with a. Uh, it's a long story. I was living with a bunch of women at the time. Like I was living with five women, but they would somehow they, they would all go out and do whatever they had job whatever they had to do right and uh had something stopping me up and so, and uh, uh uh and so i had the house to myself you know and so what i would do is i would take a steam i would take a sauna i would steam up steam up the apartment this well, the, the bathroom the apartment the sauna, and i would be writing my plays or doing my edits or whatever it is writing writing in the morning. Then in the afternoon, then after so here's the trick, in the afternoon, I would, because I just do, still have my college, whatever it is, I would go to the gym and use the sauna there. I'm a sauna dude, you know. Now I hear, excuse me, now I hear that they have these uh, portable saunas, you know, you can get them, whatever. Individual saunas. Hey, I'm a, I'm a sauna fool. I learned a lot of stuff from traveling and going to different things, man. Talk about Oroville. Oh, it's an interesting place. But they have this thing. Uh, they have this. At least I was there. They had just started. I don't know what. I don't know what's happening. That's why I want to go back and see what kind of things they have because they they do good permaculture. They do all inventions. Oh, fantastic! Thing. But there's this bed, like you lay on this bed and and it's like a harp, and you play music. So you're laying on the music like that. And there's all kinds of. What kind of, how do you say, how do you say, what kind of cool stuff in, in Oroville. So, so I learned a lot in my travel, whatever it is. Okay, so so that's it. Now it's time to, now it's time, okay, here's the thing. Let me put my, put the sacred book away. So that's the, so, so I'll keep, I'll keep you posted. I'm just saying that I think my YouTube is going to be more, again, these kind of, again, I, I really want to keep, I like interviewing people. So I want to do more. I want to do interviews, of course, you know. But I like to interview like regular people, you know what I mean. And uh, this projects will go on onto that, onto that channel, right? But um, I'm using my Instagram more just to. I usually try to post once, once at least once a day on Instagram, you know. Pay attention to Instagram more. I like Instagram. Stay short, da -da -da -da, like that. Okay. So. Oh, you know, a couple of years ago, David, my my spiritual advisor, he said, you got a, you got a fascinating, he said something like, you got a fascinating or whatever life, you know? And here's a weird kind of thing. Somebody like me, and I, it's a type. You know, compliments, we go like, eh, eh, yeah, I hear what you're saying. After a while, when it's very young, I can be very, very bad at it. You know, so I just can't take a compliment for, for nothing. I guess it'd be some sort of psychological thing, right? But now when you get older, you sort of like, oh, yeah, you know, you try to be gracious and stuff like that. But I still don't. I just, Here's the thing. If you're doing something, you're doing it. And for you, you're doing it. And it doesn't, I guess you, 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 get, you get the rah-rah and the compliment. I understand the compliment. But for you, the compliment is not important because you... The important thing is that you are able to do it and you're trying to, how do you say, um, uh, evolve in it, you know? You're trying to, you know, get your bona fides in it, <laughs> whatever, you know, you try to, you try, that's not that you try to master it, you're trying to master it, but you, you know, you're doing stuff, right? Okay. So I've, I, I, I have a lot of little different experiences in a lot of little different areas, right? But um, this last kind of this uh, this uh, silent thing was interesting because I had, like I said, there's this whole thing 52 days before your birthday with the Rosicutians where you, speak, you have to be chilled, you know what I mean? Because, you know, things tend to get, get sort of disruptive and stuff like that. So I'm always aware of that. So this year, and, I, and one time I made it real hard. One year I made it hard for myself because what I did was I had, I had to write a poem a day for 52 days. Those fifty days before my birthday, and it was really interesting because I couldn't start the poem until 
basically I woke up you know, the day and and and, uh, and I had to do certain things and da 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 and I wouldn't sit down to write it until the afternoon and it was a whole constraint. It was very well. It was a good discipline exercise. So uh, this fifty two days uh, uh, was really fascinating because I never thought of. I didn't even think of. I didn't have it in my head to do this at all. It just sort of happened. So I just kept on doing it. So, and it just it was just fascinating to see how people react. You know, a lot of times people, maybe just South African, I don't know, people would would uh, react in such a way like they would, like I'm handicapped. Right? Or even if, I, if, even if I'm writing down and I would write down, you could speak, I, I, I can hear you. I just, I'm just not talking, right? They would still still want to write. It, it was it was it was interesting people, people's reaction, but the most interesting thing was uh, they they trend they tend to think of you as different as 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 handicapped. The only way I can tell you, it's like fascinating. Um, so anyway, so 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 this so so this particular uh, point in my life this this year is the. It's like it's like the like it's the third go round for my for these cycles. This is I guess it's a demarcation point. I'm old enough to learn learn certain things and to, to do certain things. And everything is sort of um, uh, falling into a, a, a perfect order, if you want to say that, or a perfect reality for me. A reality I can handle and and, uh, and and understand. And so 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 that's what's been happening, right? Uh, now at one particular point uh, in my Career at, at well at BAI uh, specifically, um, they I was a uh, I was uh, I would say banned. Well, I've been banned a lot of <laughs> I've been banned a lot a lot of places, but it was like they wouldn't let me on. They wouldn't let me have I had a program proposal, and they and the program director uh, didn't particularly appreciate <laughs> appreciate my bona fides. <laughs> had more than anybody and so they wouldn't let me on the air right i wasn't really begging for a program i was just i was sort of really messing with them because as long as i get to audio drive it don't matter to me right so, so i need a regular program but uh i did think i just did that so whatever um anyway so uh so 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 one of the things i did this campaign against this program director and the station manager the station manager and the program director this guy scagliati was the program director and this, uh, john simon was a station manager or something like that and they just made him a mess of whatever things in my estimation and so they they always have rules for me or whatever i, mean, I, I just get around them stuff like that but one of the things was that uh i had this i had this this uh a uh, memo war against them, right? And like one, two, one, two, at least like three, th like three times a week, at least three times a week, up to three times, yeah, th three, three or more times a week, I would write a a, a memo, a one page memo, it would be really thick and biting about, about some sort of inept thing that the that the station manager did. <laughs> and first they said I couldn't use the facility somehow to distribute this this. I guess it was a zine at this particular point, but you know, like a, a, a one-page memo, uh, you know, and so they tried to bar me from that. So that's like, then I got a subscription list. So I was just sending certain people, right? And then the very last one, I forgot why I called it off. I don't know what happened. Um, I forgot what happened. However, it ended. It ended. It just went on for almost a year, I think. And then when it almost when it was done, about that, my last one. I wrote on a, uh, I typed it, because these were, these, were, these were memos. This was not your uh, uh, your digital copies, you know what I mean? You had the, the, the carbon copy and all the rest of this stuff to, that you put in there as a memo. Um, it was just when they were just changing over, actually, uh, but it was still memos. And so, um, that last one that I did, I... I put I, I, and I, oh I, I would always use great la English language you know what I mean highfalutin language right with no no disrespect no cursing and nothing like that okay this last one I did I had the thing and then I said there was a special blue blue paper this was the blue copy it was a translation of what the last one 
that last memo was was translated into some foul language <laughs> or the blue copy with the foul language translation of the of the thing right that it always fascinated me language always fascinates me and how people think with sound because to me sound and vibration is kind of what, what it is to me this language is uh, i'm really not into this language thing because i'm well i don't speak a lot of languages it's probably why i'm not into the language thing um No, I have I have I have, I have difficult questions. Well, I guess if I applied myself, I would be more successful at it. But uh, I have difficulty with uh, my language acumen. <coughs> Foreign language acumen is not as good as it should be. Uh, so, so we come to tonight's lectures. Because like I said, I only have a few more hours, uh, but I can curse because, you know, every once, you know, I, I don't curse. I don't use foul language. But, uh, so I had this idea that said, look, I need to talk to my, there's this whole madness that happened. And I think what I call, I call, I call it the high horse syndrome. And everybody's got their point of view. And when they get there, when they get there, when they, Chew into that bone, they can't let it go. It's, they they got to be right. And then when they get on their high horse, they're super right. And they look down on you and they, you know, oh, what do you know? They just, <laughs> it's it's a mess, right? And so, so I call it the high horse syndrome. And there's really no way out of it because this way people want to be right. And then they want to make sure that you ain't right. And whatever, however the dynamic goes, you know. And so, and so I thought this year what I would do is, like I said, you know, for all these people in the house, because everybody's wrong, including me, everybody's wrong, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I mean, you can be right today and wrong tomorrow, or you can be wrong today and right tomorrow. It doesn't matter. That's what I'm trying to say, because stuff happens. Shit happens, as we say, okay? Okay. So so I'm going to I'm gonna give a, a, here's what I would want to say to uh, my my black brothers and sisters, my African brothers and sisters, my black brothers and sisters, the, 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 the diasporic brothers and sisters, um, the uh, the Hotep brothers and sisters, you know, the my Moorish brothers and sisters, my five percenters, my 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 Israel Hebrewites, my 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 uh, how do you say it, you know, my uh, 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 I, I say the Hotep brothers, right? Yeah, my uh, my. Uh, my new Nubian brothers, my my uh, my African American brothers, my you know my Yahweh people, my who, whoever you are, right? Welcome in. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is getting a little, it's getting a little bit ridiculous, right? Because this is the thing we have uh, in the Southern Africa. Uh, it's called Chimarangas, because revolutionary struggle is. It's, 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 it's a Shona word from the, you know the Zimbabwe kind of people, and so it means revolutionary struggle. The Chimaranga means revolutionary struggle, and uh, and uh, but it also has another meaning that people don't use. I like to get the second and the third meaning and stuff like that, and that is the struggle within, meaning that you know everybody you know you, you have a struggle. Everybody everybody thinks everybody they always struggle it too, you know. So that's where it goes wrong. It goes awry. You know, because everybody wants to be right. But I've come to a, this. I've come to this point, and not and not lightly, because this is this is really getting uh, very annoying. You know. So I have to go into my South Bronx bag, wear my South Bronx, run my Bronx hat in the hood. Yeah, so I got a I still got an African cloth on here. I got my symbol, my uh, my wisdom knot. Right there, so I'm all, I'm all set. I'm all set for, especially with the wisdom. Now I'm all set to give the uh, the sermon, run the sermon, to tell you what's going on because this this is really quite upsetting. Africa is perpetually is being fucked. It's as simple as that. I mean, it's unbelievable. But here's the trick, man. Here's here's the way I see it. Africa right now 
is being fucked by a bunch of motherfuckers, right? Now, the, in other words, you have you have, have the mother the mother continent being being be, the mother being abused, right, by a bunch of motherfuckers. The, the cats they come and they you know they take they take they take because they all they know how to do is fuck. They 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 have no idea of humanity, anything like that. They, 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 that's all they know how to do. Now, you say, but what can we do? Well, brother, what can we do? You know, the colonizers, you know, they, they got our minds and they, they, they're they doing this and doing that. It is hard not to be a motherfucker. Well, you are a motherfucker. Well, maybe you're not a motherfucker. I take that back. The people that that, that fuck Africa, they're motherfuckers. Because Africa is the mama, the mama continent, the mama country. The the uh the country, you know, mama continent with with with, with fifty five countries, right? And so and, and 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 so you can't expect, you know, well 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 you, you can say they had they all they all have histories, right? But the histories again are being fucked by the colonizer. So dear motherfucker, but here's the problem. Now that you know that this is a reality, it's true, then the the question is all you, all you people that say, well, I'm not a motherfucker. I, 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 you know, I respect Africa. Whatever. I say, well, I say, no. Well, you, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. You know, because when you allow your the African people to be fucked, right? Then, well, you're a father fucker. You're a father fucker. So my question really is, is like. Are you a motherfucker or father fucker? Because you want you wanted to uh, because stuff is happening. You're not doing anything to, to stop this stuff. This stuff that in fact it gets even worse. If you if you if you if you if you if your forefathers if your if your father your uncle right hasn't done anything to rectify the situation, then they motherfuckers they father fuckers. I go to, I go so far to say that. <laughs> it's just. It just makes it just makes you see you see you see the logic in this, the you, the 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 father fuckers are the ones that uh will go and and, and will do anything for the for the I won't say for the master but they will do anything to get over. Those are the father fuckers. You know, the motherfuckers they they will do anything so 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 so, so the continent is is drained. But the father fuckers, man, they're to me they're they're the worst because what if, what what happens is the father is the one that allows that allows the, the these short term goals to be accomplished by the uh, by the oppressor. They allow this. No, with no thought, no foresight into any future, no foresight into correcting any anything. They just allow. This stuff to be happening over and over and over and over again. Like I said, you know, I think that basically it's pedophilia for you to 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 allow you to allow yourself to be fucked like this. It don't make no sense. So, uh, I I I don't know what we're gonna do, but but something needs to be done because this is not something that you want. To be known that, that that you allow your mama to be fucked, and you and you allow the the and you allow the the the, the colonizers to come and, and fuck fathers too. They fucked you and took you took your country. They fucking you and taking your country. That's the father's responsibility. So the father, the, so these motherfuckers are fucking mothers and fathers. <laughs> And since you the little the innocent little babies, you know what I mean? It, we're talking pedophilia here. Getting fucked. And 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 I see some some people seem to like this this the situation. How could you like the situation? I don't understand how it's possible. So I don't know. Maybe I if if I was to talk to any Africans, I was just 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 the I said, look, here's the problem. Like your great 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 grandfather, just your great 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 grandfather, four generations, whatever it is, right, like that. Well, would 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 he want it? Would would he would he be fucking you? Would he even make it so that 
that, that, that you're not successful? Well, how could you honor his, his whatever by, are you fucking his memory? <laughs> you see how this, this works? At some particular point, you got to stop blaming the white man. The white man wasn't here the whole time, right? Well, but, but look, forget, forget who's to blame. The point is, at some particular point, you know, something's got to be done. That's the question. Something's got to be done. What can I tell you? So, okay, so this was this was kind of interesting lighting. A little theatrical lighting for my little little debut of uh, after my uh, 72nd, you know? I had an all right day, huh? I'll make something good to eat tonight. I uh, don't know, pure vegetarian. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening. And uh, this is uh, this the, the 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 birthday wrap up. I should do every, you know, on New Year's Eve. I should do a. Nah, I'll see what happens. Anyway, so uh, I'm not saying thank you for listening. This is just it's a chronicle of what happens. You know, whatever this this is what I do. You know, and uh, once you have a happy, healthy, and always you okay. Just see you all later. All right. This little. Uh, a little libation, a little message for me. T for the Patterson, take the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>